From its beautiful landscape to its friendly resident locals, Pace, Florida is a wonderful place to call home. Pace boasts of a unique charm that makes it stand out from other cities in Florida. Make me a deal. If you get any value or information out of today's video, hit that like and subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. My name is Grayson Roberts, realtor and owner of Boss Properties. If you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in the greater Emerald Coast area, give me a call 24-7. Call, text, or email, whatever your speed. I'd be more than happy to help you relocate to your dream state and move to potentially Pace, Florida. Now, be sure you stick around here on this channel because we talk about a lot of comparable cities like Pensacola proper or Bellevue just for a few examples. So stick around for top five neighborhoods, top five things to do, pros and cons, and more importantly, comparing and contrasting similar cities to figure out what is the best place for you to call home. Before we go any further, I want to give a quick shout out to Boss Properties' long-term sponsor, Weeble. Now, don't skip ahead because Weeble is actually going to put money in your pocket instead of the other way around. That's right, Weeble is my personal favorite online stock brokerage, free online stock brokerage that I've been using for four years and I have never paid them a dime. They're going to give you six free stocks just for signing up as a sign-up bonus. All you got to do is create an account, Fund that an account with as little as just one cent. They're going to put six free stocks into your brokerage account. You can sell, buy the dip, make more money, or cash them out into your bank account because inflation sucks. Anyway, let's get into it. Pace is a small town located in Santa Rosa County, and it is a suburb of Pensacola, and it's known for its laid-back lifestyle, friendly community, and excellent schools. Pace is situated in the heart of the Florida Panhandle, which means it is surrounded by beautiful beaches, rivers, and plenty of forests. The town is also home to a variety of parks, hiking trails, and outdoor recreational activity. Now, in my opinion, I'm going to tell you why I think moving to Pace is a great idea for really anybody all walks of life. Moving to Pace, Florida is a great idea for several reasons. Firstly, the town boasts a low cost of living compared to other cities in Florida. This makes it an ideal place for families families and retirees looking to save some money. Secondly, Pace has a strong sense of community. The people here are friendly, welcoming, and always ready to lend a helping hand. This makes it easy for new residents to settle in and make friends. Another reason why moving to Pace, Florida is a great idea is the town's proximity to Pensacola. Pensacola is a larger city that offers more amenities and entertainment options. It is a town of about 50,000 people, with Pace being a town of about 20,000 people. However, Pace still maintains its small town feel, which makes it the perfect place to escape the hustle and bustle of the city busy life. Now, what should you expect? when relocating to Pace. First, let's talk about the weather a little bit. So it's going to be hot and muggy in the summer. That's the classic Florida beach vacation weather. But Pace is near the coast, Pensacola more so, but you get a tad bit of that ocean breeze, cool air coming in, not as much, but you are going to be 30 minutes from some of the best beaches in the entire country. So Pace, Florida is going to have a hot and muggy summer. However, sometimes back home in Missouri, it's hotter in Missouri because you don't get that kind of ocean cool breeze coming in, that wind, right? So uh, it's actually not that bad. It feels really good in the summer, just like you want to jump in the ocean, of course, as you know. And in the winters, it's actually going to get anywhere from 50, 60 to 70. So you get more of the four seasons without ever actually having to fully winterize any of your outdoor furniture, pools, whatever. And to me, that is a major plus of living in Pace versus somewhere like Clearwater or even Miami where it's going to be scorching hot year round. You get that little break so you can go out and garden or ride your bike or go on walks and do different activities that you couldn't do comfortably if you're further down south. Also, another thing to expect is it is a town of 22,000 people, which is not big and it's not super small, but there are going to be limited opportunities when it comes to the job market and things to do, but you're right outside the greater Pensacola area, which offers plenty of dining and nightlife and job opportunities and more stuff along those lines. So I wouldn't not move to Pace just because you're going to be bored or less job opportunities because it's a short like 10, 15 minute commute. It's not bad at all. So let's talk about the cost of living. The median home price in Pace is about $330,000, which is actually six figures below, almost six figures below the national average. And it's a little bit higher, about 20,000 higher 
no, yeah, 20,000 higher than Pensacola, but that's because it's just a great place to live. Housing costs are of course more affordable, but when it comes to groceries, transportations, it's all cheaper than a lot of other places in Florida and is on par or if anything lower than the national average. Things fluctuate and we're in a weird economic time. So it's hard to give you an exact estimate of the cost of living by the time you get there, uh, but it's probably very similar and maybe even cheaper than where you're from. If you're from California, it's going to feel like it's free. If you're from, you know, Missouri or Kansas, it's going to feel relatively similar. Now, I've been talking about how it's a smaller town with not so much things to do, but let's just go ahead and talk about some of the things that there is to do. And I'll make a full length video on this soon. So I'm just going to brush over some of the highlights, starting with visiting the Arcadia Mill archaeological site. This is a historic site that showcases the history of the area. Visitors can learn about the lumber industry and see the remains of old mills and explore the beautiful grounds. You can also take a hike at the Blackwater River State Forest. The forest is home to several hiking trails, camping sites, and picnic areas. It is the perfect place for outdoor enthusiasts. You can visit the Santa Rosa County Creek Indian Tribe Museum. This museum showcases the history and culture of the Creek Indian Tribe. Visitors can also learn about their traditions, customs, and way of life. You can go fishing at the Yellow River. The Yellow River is a great place to go fishing. It's home to a variety of fish, including bass, catfish, and bream. You could, of course, spend a day at the beach. Beach. Pace is just a short drive away from some of the most beautiful beaches in Florida. Pensacola Beach, Navarre Beach, just a few of the awesome options. And of course, there's plenty of restaurants and other things like that, but these are just kind of more little different things to like actually go do. So for my retiree crowd out there, let's talk about some of the healthcare opportunities in Pace, Florida. Pace is home to several excellent healthcare facilities, including the Santa Rosa Medical Center and the West Florida Hospital. These facilities offer a range of services, including a emergency care, surgery, and rehabilitation. Now, in terms of education, Pace has some of the best schools in the state. The Santa Rosa County School District is highly rated and offer a range of programs, including gifted education, special education, and vocational education. So let's talk briefly about the job market in Pace. Pace is a smaller town. It's on the small side, so the job opportunities are more limited. However, there's still a variety of industries available, like healthcare, education, and retail. And of course, a short commute to Pensacola opens up a whole nother world of opportunity. In conclusion, this is the video talking about moving to Pace, Florida, one of my favorite picks and moving to the Emerald Coast on a budget so you can get the more for your money. If you would like to buy, sell, or invest in Pace or Milton or Pensacola or Santa Rosa, anywhere in Florida for that matter, I can... My company can help you nationwide, honestly, but if you're looking to buy in the greater Pensacola area, give my company a call or give me a call. 24-7, I'm a robot. Don't sleep. Get the free money with Weeble, and I will see you in the next Relocating to the Sunshine State video.